Tonight, from every eye, tears of blood for you fall. Every eye sees you crushed between the door and wall. Weeps for this sight, Zahra, the moon, the stars and all. And with them from a wounded heart, your name we call. Tonight, from every eye, tears of blood for you fall. Every eye sees you crushed between the door and wall. Weeps for this sight, Zara, the moon, the stars, and all. And with them from a wounded heart, your name we call. Fire to the house that angels visit is brought. They tell him she's inside, and he shouts out, so what? With the blood of Zahra, the pledge of Ali sought, between the door and nail, the heaven sent his court. Fire to the house that angels visit is brought. They tell him she's inside, and he shouts out so what? With the blood of Zahra, the pledge of Ali sought. Between the door and nail, heaven sent his court. Crushed the rose that brought joy to eyes of Muhammad, ripped its petals that flow in tears that his eyes shed. His unborn grandson, Muhsin, to the nail led, and on his daughter the feet of oppressors tread. Crushed the rose that brought joy to eyes of Muhammad. Ripped its petals, the flow in tears that his eyes shed. His unborn grandson, Muhsin, to the nail led. And on his daughter, the feet of oppressors tread. The house that we associate with grief and martyrdom of Fatima to Zahra السلام, is Bayt al Ahzan. It was a house built by Imam Ali السلام, so that Lady Fatima had a place to grieve for her father, the Prophet Muhammad. But do we understand the significance of Bayt al Ahzan? Is it merely a standard house or is it a lesson for us to, to how to take care of the vulnerable and the grief stricken? After her father was martyred, Lady Fatima could not stop crying for him. She missed him so much her world felt empty. She would cry so intensely that the people of Medina actually began to complain. And they went to Imam Ali السلام, instructing him to tell Fatima to either cry during the day or the night because they could not sleep. But the way Amir al Mu'mineen reacts is interesting. He didn't go to her and tell her to be more patient or to have more composure. Rather, he showed compassion to her. Not only did he listen and comfort her, he built Bayt al Hazan for her, a house far away from the houses of people where Lady Fatima could feel safe and express her pain. Why is this significant? It is significant because Imam Ali السلام, teaches us how we really should respond to those who are suffering and going through hardship. Now more than ever, people are being diagnosed with mental health conditions such as depression, Yet the stigma that we as Muslims put on such people is so backwards and insensitive. Instead, we should be following the example of our Imam and showing kindness to others going through pain and provide for them safe places where they can really feel comfortable, whether that be building centers dedicated to mental health, for example, or providing our homes and Husseiniyas as places people can go to when they are struggling and looking for support. And Lady Fatima Zahra really needed that support in her final days. 
After she faced her oppression, she became bedridden and sicker by the day. Her body, once strong and healthy, was now weak. Her body that was once strong and healthy was now weak and feeble and the skin of her body withered away until she was more or less skin and bone. She would go to Bayt al Ahzan and say the following lines of poetry. What will happen to the one who smells the sweet fragrance of the grave of Ahmed? After such he would never smell any other fragrance of this world. Such sorrows flowed upon me if it had descended upon the day. They would have turned it into night. When someone dies, his remembrance lessens day by day. But by Allah, the remembrance of my father increases every day. I remember that death has made a separation between us. I console myself upon Prophet Muhammad. Then I say to myself that death is our path and if one does not die today then he will surely die tomorrow and I desire to see you I come to your grave I weep and I complain but you do not answer me Oh the one occupying the grave you have taught me weeping and your remembrance has parted away all other sorrows and although you are concealed under the earth you are not concealed Concealed from my grieving heart, you are not concealed from my grieving heart. Bleeding from her chest to Muhsin, she bids goodbye. In the depths of my heart, child, you'll always lie. I'll see you a youth, not an unborn in my eye, and to your grave daily I'll sing a lullaby. Ali buries Zahra in the night. All alone. O oh, joy of my heart, by death from me you're taken. His hand feels the rib in her chest, it's broken, and the lion cries, A child left an orphan. And the lion cries, A child left an orphan.